Hello and welcome to 2020. My name is Jerry and I printed a really cool Mandalorian helmet that I got off of Nico Industries. Let me run my intro and I'll show you how I did it. straight off the printer. I just got all the supports cleaned off of it. But as you can see the finish came out flawlessly. Looks really awesome. I don't have any screw ups on it. So all the supports are off. Time to throw some primer on it and then paint it or chrome it. I got a clear uh, face shield off of Amazon that I'll cut and put the visor in on um, the tenant window tinting. It's the cheapest option to go instead of trying to find a visor, it's already dark. So. But yeah, it came out beautiful. Alrighty, I just went outside and I hit it with a couple coats of Krylon Gray Primer. So I'm just going to let that cure dry all the way. It's a little chilly outside, so I sprayed it out back and then I brought it in so it can dry. It does have a little bit of odor, but at least it's better than spraying it in the house. Came out real nice. And there's my current primer of choice that I'm buying. You can pick this up at Lowe's, Home Depot, pretty much anywhere. Cryolon Color Max Gray Primer is what I'm currently using. So once that's completely dry, then I'll hit it with the high gloss black. And I'll show you some pictures and then a video, and then it'll be. Time to move on to, I'm either going to chrome it or use a gunmetal silver. I haven't, I'm not quite sure yet, but I'll probably end up chroming it. So anyway, we'll move on to the next set of, next video. And here we are with uh, gloss black. All of the helmet. Put a couple coats on it. And the reason I went with gloss black over top of the gray primer is that it will make the chrome or the silver, whatever color you're putting on over top of it, as long as you put it on lightly, it'll really make it pop. If you try to put any kind of a chrome or a silver over top of gray primer, it'll look dull and it won't really shine. But you'll see that here after I spray it. It's looking really nice. This is from Nico Industries, Mandalorian helmet. It's really good. And here's the paint that I use. Krylon Fusion All-in-One Gloss Bag Black uh, Rattle Can that I got from Lowe's. This is the way. Well, I just went over with Krylon Metallic Silver and uh, based on the cap color, it kind of looks like a mirror chrome, but I never got the effect I wanted. You can see here in the video. Looks pretty silver. And what typically I spray my chrome with over high gloss black is a spaz stick mirror chrome I use in my airbrush. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, reshoot this uh, high gloss black again once it dries and I'll hit it with the mirror chrome and we'll move on to the next clip to show you that I'm not happy with the silver look. I understand a Mandalorian helmet can be any color you choose because all Mandalorians are different but uh, this isn't the effect I want. I don't want silver. So, let me uh, go back and shoot it again.
That looks really good. That achieved the effect I wanted to get. Nice and chrome. A slight black tint to it, bleeding through here and there because I didn't spray the chrome too heavy. Now it's time to move on to the face shield. Hey guys, okay, here's what I did for the shield. Um, when I got this file from Nico's uh, website, he had a link where there's a welding supply store on where he had bought one from. It's like $17 or $18 plus shipping, and I thought that was a little too expensive. So I looked around on Amazon and a few other places, and I finally came up with one on Amazon for like $6 and something. It's clear. It's a clear safety shield. It's very flexible. And of course, I need it tinted dark, and I thought I had some scrap window tinting out in the garage. But unfortunately, I don't. I don't have anybody close to me that does, so... I got on a, a Walmart's website and I bought these. Uh, this window tinting is made for uh, your rear strip in your window. Your rear window, they're stripped. They're six inches wide by like 30 feet long, or six by 26 it says. And it was you know real cheap. It was under 10 bucks. So I went up and bought it. Obviously, I don't need but a couple tiny pieces, so I have left over for future projects. So what I'm going to do here, um, I took the shield. I held it up in front of the mask, roughly where I was going to tape it on the inside, and I just took a sharpie and kind of outlined where I'm going to cut it. Let me put this helmet out of the way. So, I'll take my razor knife and a straight edge, just so I can pull a straight line on that. Hold it down fairly tight, and I'll just score it. I got a new razor blade in here, so it's very sharp. And I'll just score it a few times. Do the other one here. Be very careful working with the razor blade. Come over here to the other side. See how that works. Yeah. Perfect. Now I'm going to go off camera here real quick. I'll take my window tinting, I'll tint this spot, and then we'll get ready to put it inside the helmet here. Yeah, it came out real good. I got the window tinting applied, and I've got the plastic glued in. One thing I found out about that plastic shield is it cuts really easy because down here, I had to trim it. I had it a little bit too wide, so I grabbed a pair of scissors out of the kitchen that trimmed real easy with scissors. So if you get the same type of plastic shield and you cut it with a razor knife, or actually you can cut it with scissors, it cut, it cut fairly easy. Let me turn them over here and I'll show you what I did. If you can see the inside there. The reason I used aluminum tape is I had a roll on hand. I use it on printed beds when I go to insulate printed, uh, my heated beds. I use aluminum tape. It works real good. And it sticks really well to these masks and any kind of plastic. So it came out real nice. Very pleased with the results. And Baby Yoda, the child, the baby, little dude, he approves. He likes it. And I believe I printed this at 105%. Um, and like I can say it's from Nico Industries. I got it right a few weeks before Christmas when he had a big sale going on. Black Friday, Nico had everything 50% off, and then right before Christmas, it was down to 30%. So I missed the 50% off by one day, but once the sale came up again at 30% off, I got it. But even at regular price, at $20, it's a great, great deal. A great deal for the STL at $20. So I got a link down below in the description uh, to his site if you'd like to go check this out. And uh, at 105%, it's slightly big on my head. I didn't want I want it too tight, 
So I'm going to put a piece of foam in the top. I'll glue it in with hot glue. That way my eyes line up properly with eye holes. Because right now it sits down just a little bit too far. And I got some pictures here I can show you in the slicer on S3D. Um, so I'll pop them up here on the screen so you can check them out. Just wanted to thank everybody for stopping by and checking out my video. Please like and subscribe. And remember, this is the way.